John Moxley and Darby Allen versus Brian Cage and Ricky Starks in a no DQ tornado match. Before the match, Taz is backstage doing a promo, talking about Cage's body. Look at his biceps. Look at his triceps. Look at these these traps. They're like pistons. Like pistons, Moxley. <laughs> Laughing my ass off. And then Ricky Starks gets to cut a promo. Ricky Starks is a hell of a promo. It was awesome. Taz wanted him because he's different from Moxley and Allen. Everyone loves Darby because he's different and he's mysterious. Darby Allen, you look like Pigpen. You wrestle like a crash test dummy. Actually, said you dress like Pigpen. Either way. I was like, dude, I read Peanuts for years. He doesn't dress like Pigpen. What are you talking about? He does wrestle like a crash test dummy. But yeah, he does wrestle like he, a crash test God dummy. God damn, does he wrestle like a crash test dummy. As was made abundantly clear in the ensuing match. Well, before we get to that, they were also in the promo talking about how, you know, Moxley may have to go alone tonight because your buddy's not here. And as we talked about last week, when Ricky Starks ran over Darby, he got a concussion. Yes. He just ran into him from behind. He fucking almost killed this poor guy. Yes. And so when this, you know, when they do the promo here and they say that Moxley is going alone, I, I thought, okay, well, he didn't get cleared. Now, apparently last week was taped two weeks ago, so he's had two weeks to recover and not just one. Okay. But he was apparently cleared because he flies out of the heavens and they start doing this tornado match. His first move was a coffin drop off the entrance ramp. But That's dude, how he opened the match. This guy. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. He landed on his fucking head or the back of his head so many times in this match. Yes. Like, he, I know, you know, everybody says, oh, I'm going to wrestle a few more years and I'm going to get out. And, you know, he's one of the, he says the exact same thing. I'm going to wrestle, I don't know what age he said, but, you know, then I'm, I just want to get out. I just want to make my money and get out. Dude, you better make your money and get out because you're going to die if you don't. There was a point when they tried to do a paradigm shift coffin drop combo. Paradigm shift is a DDT, which means when Darby landed on him, the guy's bent over facing down. And the coffin drop is where you fly backwards on your back. So Darby's back lands on this guy's back. Which causes him to flip over and slam his head into the mat. I wept. <laughs> don't do this. So speaking of violent things that I don't know why you would do in this particular random match, the match is, they, they, they worked hard and had a fun fight, but there was nothing to it. The, the, the announcers were talking about, it's a tornado rules match. You can't plan anything. You can't, there's no strategy. Just do stuff until somebody gets pinned. That's what the match was. And then... Uh, yeah, what's the finish? Uh, Darby's in there with Starks, Ricky Starks. He lays him out. And Darby gets under the ring and pulls out a skateboard that has no wheels on it, but the bottom is coated in thumbtacks. And he goes to the top rope, and he jumps off and does the Tony Hawk landing on Ricky Starks' back, slides across it, cheese grates the man's back. At least it was the finish. But <laughs> dude, Why? Why, 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 Vinny, why? Vinny, I, I, I theorized this last night, and I, I cannot say this for 100% certainty, so please don't listen to this and write some stupid story on the internet about it. But I'm a, after today, I heard some more stuff. I'm 99% sure that Ricky Starks was like feeling so bad about what he did to Darby that this was his idea. I'm 99% sure. He was, he was paying his debt for I mean, what I, he had done to this guy. But fuck, dude, it was if, so brutal. If I'm Darby, I'm saying, okay, but we'll save it. Well, they saved it for this, to set up him getting a random championship match. It is random. So yes, the match ends. Starks and his shredded back are helped to the back. And suddenly, Mox is in there celebrating this title belt. And Darby just points at him like it's a sign. And Moxley's caught very off guard. Then the announcers say, this match has been signed, Darby Allen versus John Moxley next week for the title, but these guys don't know. So they're in there. What? That's what he said. I missed that part. We were told neither of these men know they're having a title match next week. They just happen to magically, randomly challenge each other for a title match. Dude, that was I, bizarre. I just couldn't get over it when they flat out said that Darby was the number five contender. He's getting a title match next week. He literally just came back. He's gotten this win. And now he's getting a title match. 
Yeah. And a promotion where they strongly push that wins and losses matter, and they push their rankings. It's like, if the number five contender can get a title shot, what is the point of the rankings? I think Lance Archer was number three. He ain't doing anything. You know, why isn't Lance Archer getting a title shot next week? Why is Darby getting a title shot? It makes no sense to me. I'm not that mad about it, but... But it's confusing. It, it's... it's. I, listen, I watch AEW, and I love AEW because they don't do what I see on WWE. And WWE, these title shots are handed out willy-nilly. It makes no sense. Everything is nonsensical. In the title. I, I, it drives me nuts. That's not what I want in AEW. Like, if you're not going to do rankings, then fine. Give Darby Allen a shot next week. But if rankings are a thing, and every week you're going to put out the rankings, and the rankings are supposed to determine who gets championship matches, then we should never totally at random with a guy who just came back last week after he'd been gone forever on medical leave. He gets one win in a tag match. And now the number five contender is getting a world championship match on TV next week for free. Not to mention, the guy's hot. Why are we beating him again? I don't think he's winning the title. I, I don't know. It's and just, just like strange. on Raw, right before this, MJF did his promo where he challenges Moxley for the pay-per-view coming up in September. They followed that up immediately with Darby Allen getting a title shot. I mean, everything here is straight out of... The WWE booking handbook. Yeah. That's not what I want to see. No.